blackmailing you know, Peter Obi. To be to attack him or any other person at the tribunal. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. When I welcome to this YouTube channel, if you're doing it, first time you see this channel, make enough you to hit on the subscribe button. If you don't subscribe before, thank you and God bless you. If you didn't know first time we see this Facebook page, Papa Kevin 101, make it on Facebook like and follow this page for more videos all day to come away. My people wonder shall never end. Or be then share this video. I know we're wasting our time. When I know those people waiting to send message, they remember me, I've been a rebel, I've been a rapam pa, I've been a pampas. All those people waiting to send errands. When they think they lie, they lie for Labour Party, they lie for Peter will be enemy. Eh? When I call here, Peter will be don't speak to his poor person. Guys, come here with tea, they talk for Israel Labour Party. The way all these people, they lie, they want to destroy the Labour Party. It is the for Labour Party here. Yeah, what did not happen? What did they put them in the go do for Israel Labour Party? Guys, take your time, watch this video. Please share this video because this kind of video need to go viral. When I'm not saying lie, they go viral all way. Truth, that's the most point they work out, they come for back. But please, share this video, make this video go viral. Make the Siam say, Peter, I'll be speak to his poor person. Concerning what things they would do for Israel Labour Party, how did they bring down some things for Israel Labour Party? How did they stop the government of their state? Different things when they go to do damages, what they do for back. You go hear everything for inside this video. Please share this video. Share the video. Arabambi, Abna Arapampa, they go see their rot for body. Guys, I will hand this video here. Please help me to share this video. I'm not gonna fail to subscribe to this my YouTube channel, Papa Kevin 101 Backup TV. Please make me hit 1,000 subscribers. Then I'm gonna show now videos where I told say I won't show now for inside this place. Please let's hit 1,000 subscribers. It remains more, we go see this day. Thank you now. All of you now subscribe for that place. God will bless all of you now. Make I drop this video for now. Make you now here. Please share as you do so. God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye. Presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi to attack uh, people, uh, some disgruntled element in the appeal court during the proceeding of the tribunal. I let threat, I hereby read out my press release and response to that effect. I let threat to life by Arabambi, a joke taken too far. News recently went around where the embattled Mr. Abayomi Arabambi Former personal assistant to Barrister Julius Abure, my Labour Party National Chairman, we are here alleged very strongly that I sent him a message that I was directed by His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi to attack him or any other person at the tribunal. Ordinarily, I would have laughed over such unsubstantiated and unfounded accusation, but for the benefit of some members of the public, especially the Nigerian youth, who do not know the character called Arabambi. In all views, I see such baseless attempt to defame my person as a last kick of a dying horse. Arabambi is well known with lies, propaganda, blackmail, and deceit, reasons why the party expelled him in 2014 and his principal sacked him from our party in December 2022. I wish to use this medium to state categorically clear that as a very educated person with fair understanding of English language, that on no account did I reduce myself to a Arabian B level by sending such a message as alleged. I never wanted to take this current Hulabalu, he created along his newfound friends, personal. It is important, I remind Arabambi, that those who fetched ant-infested firewood had invited lizard to their abode. Recall, Arabambi called the noble Nigerians who believed that justice must prevail in the 2023 presidential election, especially the obedient, he called them obedience. So description of hardworking Nigerian youth in an is an invitation to save this truck. I know he should have known this when he called them obedient. I have said it time without number that Peter Obi's presidency is Nigerian's project. I challenge the Arab Ambi to make public the said conversation in order to quantify and qualify his alleged threat of life from me. Let me make it categorically clear 
that neither Peter will be nor any other person has or even contemplating to influence or stimulate any such response to our papa from Nigerians who already knew that our papa, Arabambi, and their cohorts have been heavily compromised to thwart the proceedings in the tribunal. The evidences are so clear by the private jets they ride and the vehicles they move around. Peter Obi is known as a peace-loving man who never condones violence. As a governor of Anambra State, it is on record that his tenure witnessed the most peaceful era in that state. He is renowned to be the only governor in Nigeria who moved around without a bulletproof car. He ensured that brigandry, violence, or any form of skirmish seizes in that state. So for anyone to imagine, suggest, or even contemplate to associate Peter Obi, our presidential candidate, with an act of violence is a pure mischief taken too far. And this the party must address. Labour Party is demanding that Arabambi must come up with evidence and facts that my person, Ahanotu Kennedy, is under instruction to visit him in violent way. We may let so many things of his actionable utterances to sleep, but certainly not this unfounded allegation, which we view as a very serious and defamatory to the person of Prince Kennedy Arnold. I therefore call on all of us of the Labour Party and our principal, Mr. Peter Obi, to remain focused amidst many provocations coming from those who attempted to hijack the Labour Party. Thank you, Nigerian youth and the obedient for your continuous support. We believe that victory must surely come at last. Thank you and God bless you. Well, um, uh, thank you very much. Um, you have heard from our national youth leader the allegation leveled against him and our principal, uh, His Excellency Peter Obi, um, founded few lies and mischief and a few blackmails. Well, we, we shouldn't have even contemplated joining issue with people like uh, Arabambi. But when it comes to matter of national security, instigating violence, castigating people, blackmailing, be going about saying all sorts of lies, even instigating, you know, castigating and, uh, 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 you know, blackmailing, putting words into the mouth of judiciary, what they say, what they didn't say. They will just come around and then, uh, 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 you, know, you, know, you know, say things which are purely lies in their desperation to assume the leadership or to scuttle the, uh, you know, the, 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 the victory, the success recorded by the Ovidia movement. So we, uh, at the party level, um, uh, categorically denounce such statement. There is never such thing has happened. Uh, Labour Party and the obedient, highly uh, obedient and the peaceful, we have conducted our rally, we have conducted our campaign, we have never touched a, an ant. You understand? So talk less of now when we are in the hand of uh, the judiciary, which we believe our judiciary are going to, you know, do uh, justice to the, you know, uh, as it is deserved. So we don't, we don't have to do such thing like that. We know about me, about, about Arabambe, you know, is a serial blackmailer. He continuously to say, you know, wrong things, you know, insinuate so many things, trying to, and that's why they are robbing. Uh, uh, Peter Obi. It has been long he has been doing this, but we are informing and we are calling on the, the relevant security agencies to watch out and then, you know, uh, call them to order. This 
kind of statement is an instigation of uh, you know peaceful coexistence in this country and they are, they are you know uh, 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 hitting off the polity unnecessarily you know by blackmailing you know a, a very very you know uh, respected uh, individual in the person of Peter Obi and uh, we know uh, our youth leader Kennedy uh, he's a very very gentleman and uh, he has well focused he has been in the public light he know his statement is that uh, you know uh, has been there uh, all along he has never insinuated anything you know negative or anything violent or anything uh, you know to cause uh, you know you know arrest you know he's the youth leader of that he you know he has almost more than you know six million youth that are really you know trooping and uh, talking about this and when I remember was calling them idiots you know nobody say anything we allow them we don't want to do anything like that so uh, we are calling on the general public to you know disregard such allegation level you know to our principal and our youth leader and the party we are not involved we okay. don't do that uh, 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 national secretary during that uh, briefing also uh, rather they also alleged that uh, the national officials that you yourself the national chairman treasurer and the organizing secretary that uh, you went away with uh, 400 million to your private account and uh, and that with the support of the PO. that's the reason that uh, he doesn't want to back out from uh, 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 leadership of the party. Uh, you see, the, the issue of uh, those allegations are in court. And uh, a, a time of reckoning is going to come. Arambe, you know, with the, and his, uh, you know, co-travelers are saying things which they will come to account for all those allegations they are leveling against the respected individual. I, for one, will definitely take it off. Whoever accuses me wrongly and put it in the public domain and castigated blackmail my name, definitely I'm going to take it off with the, with the appropriate uh, judiciary. So we, uh, we allow them to say what they want to say. We don't, they don't deserve response. Only thing we are responding is to put things in proper perspective so that the public should not be, you know, the bad. You know, bad news usually travel faster than the good ones. So we need to counter and tell the public the real, the true position of what is really going on. So uh, we want the general public to know that this issue of 200, it was 200 before, now they increases to 400, and so we never can say. And now they are even, uh, you know, migrating from, you know, monetary issue to life-threatening issue. We don't do things like that, but let them continue to do it. We know what they are doing, we know what they are doing. Their game is over. They are sinking already. Their ship has already been drawn. So, uh, you know, they are trying to catch anything, you know, they don't care who to rob into their, you know, their deep shit. So we are not going to join issue with them about that, but appropriately, we want them to continue to go and say these lies and also label this allegation against us. But do we, they know they are going to, you know, depend it in the appropriate court of law. This is, I can assure you, even if, you know, at the party level, we, we have already taken, the party has already taken position. It has disciplined them. Those who are members of the party have already been disciplined. Those who have been suspended have been suspended. Those who have been, you know, recommended for expulsion from the party have been recommended for by the neck. So whatever they are doing, we don't care. But appropriately, we're going to take them on individually you know, in the appropriate court of law. So let them continue to go and say things. But they should be careful that the law, you know, is, uh, I don't want to say it, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know. They say it's an ass or whatever they say it. But I'm, I'm telling you, the party and us individually, myself, the national chairman, the treasurer, the legal, and whoever in the party that is being accused wrongfully, we're going to take it in, at the appropriate court of law. Well, the kind of judgment, there is so much confusion about that judgment. And I think the court shouldn't have even gone into that matter in the first place. As to the effect on Abia, the court said it in that judgment, that there is no way the court could give orders and could make a, a pronouncement on what happened in Abia. 
He said it. He the judge was referring to the court's territorial jurisdiction. He, you know that matter is actually a pre-election matter. When you are talking about the qualification of a person to, to contest the election, uh, what they were alleging and their prayer to the court and uh, was that they were saying that the party did not submit a register of members and because they did not submit, and that is a mandatory provision in section 77, uh, that uh, uh, because we did not submit, that that means that the votes scored by our candidates at the election are invalid. But that is never correct. That section of the law never pronounced about the, the, the punishment for not submitting register of members. But we have to make it clear that the party submitted our register, we submitted the hard copy, we submitted the electronic copy of the membership register as that as as when due. And that our candidates are qualified and that and, are, and in the first place, if you want to challenge the outcome of the primaries and the submission of a party's name to INEC, it's a pre-election matter. And you ought to have done that within 14 days of the occurrence of the event. These events occurred since last year and we submitted the names of our candidate for governorship and, and members of the House of Assembly since July 22. And the final list was published on October 4, last year. If you look at the time frame between now and between then and when that matter was filed, this matter in Kano was filed on May 11. It will surprise you that this matter was filed May 11 and judgment delivered May 19. Look at the speech. So this, it is clear that there is something went behind. We were never served as a political party. And one of the things that we have to be confident that, that that judgment can never affect any of our members that have been elected. The reason is their names were not on, the, on that process. You know, the court, the court was actually uh, uh, was just going back and forth. The court said it, that the members elect, the governor elect in Abia, and the members elect were not before the court. But the court has, must also have said that the, even the members in Kano were not before the court. The defendants in that matter were INEC and Labour Party. And the truth is that Labour Party was never served. We are here in the National Secretariat. If you want service on a party, on a political party, should be at the national headquarters of the party and should be service on the principal officer of that party. Nothing of that happened. But we knew uh, what happened. And, uh, you know, there are some suspended national officers of the party who have been hired by the APC to scourge the, the progress of the party, to try as much as possible and undermine the interests of the party because they have seen the movement in Nigeria today, that the Nigerian people, especially the young people in Nigeria, have realized their potentials and will no longer accept to be put down. They have decided that their vision is being promoted by the Labour, by, by the, by the Labour Party. We, they have seen that, well, they are no longer going to allow themselves to be dictated to. People are not happy about this. The people who, who believe that they have to give you power to, in order to attain power. The people who believe that they own the country. But we are saying nobody owns this country. The generality of the Nigerians own this country and they have to take the, their own destiny in their own hands. People have identified with the vision of the of, of Labour Party and that's why they are doing all this. These first Sunday national officers went to Kano to file, to file this matter and misled the court about what actually transpired and uh, tried to get a, 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 job, a, back, a judgment behind the party. But you can see from that judgment, it's clear that that judgment cannot, cannot, cannot bind anybody. And that judgment, even the court, the court itself said it. If you look at those prayers that they have made, it was not what the law said. It was their mere wishful thinking. It was their evil plot to actually bring the party down. And that is what you read. But even as the layman is confused about that judgment, even lawyers choose, they cannot make head or tail of it. And if, if the judge has not said anything specific, the judge has only reiterated the wishful thinking of these higher links. And that is what is there. So nobody should take, uh, take it too seriously. If we are going to appeal that judgment, it is only to clear the confusion. Not because the judgment can affect any of our members elect. Our members elect are going to be sworn in as from May 29, and we are good to go. So I don't think anybody should pay much attention to it. Because that, that, that was the second effort uh, uh, to clear Yes, that's why. Yes, that, that is why we are going to appeal the judgment and get it set aside so that there be no confusion. But I want to assure you that that judgment has not affected any of our members' elect. They are going to be sworn in.
that, that the judge couldn't have even entertained it at all. The matter is statute bad. You have to bring an action, an action that has to do with the qualification of somebody to contest an election. You bring the action within 14 days. That is section 285 of the Constitution. So section 285 of section 9 says you bring the action within 14 days of the occurrence of the events. And it that just means that within 14 days that that person emerged from the primaries. And even if you want to claim that you did not know the day he emerged, at least that name was published. I never published the name that this is the candidate of Labour Party for this election. From that day, that you think that person was not qualified to have emerged as candidate, you ought to have brought the action. So the court is, is not, it does not have power to attend the matter because the matter is too bad and shouldn't have better attended it in the first place. And if the court wants to say, okay, it's a post-election matter, then where do you take a post-election matter? If somebody has emerged as an elected governor or an elected member of the House of Rep or a senator elect or a House of Assembly elect, there are tribunals set up for that purpose. And if you want to challenge the victory of that person, you go to that tribunal. And you go to the specific tribunal. For example, there is a governorship election tribunal in Abia State that will handle cases that are arising from the election of uh, uh, Alex Oti as the as governor of Abia State. And if you want to challenge, and there are also tribunals set up for National Assembly, National State Assembly tribunal set up for that purpose. So you have to go to the And even when you go to that purpose, that is when you make your case. So it is not to go to a court in Kano and the court, you see, these, these are some of the handy work of, of uh, the suspended former national officers of the party who have sold their soul to, to the APC and are ready to do their bidding. They are just collecting money from them and uh, trying to, but they cannot succeed. We are lax, we know. You know, before we, we knew them and we knew what they could do. And we are really ready because this is a project we are we are serving Nigerian people, and we are we are determined to do our best in order to keep the faith, in order to assure them that they have put their trust in the party. The party will continue to to work hard in order to ensure the emancipation of the Nigerian masses for the trust they have in the party, and that is our mission. And we are focused. We are not allowed. We are not allowed. We are not going to allow ourselves to be deterred or be distracted by the efforts of these people, because we are sure those efforts will become full-time, because we are convinced of the solemnity and sureness of the triumph of good over evil. There is no way we can prevail. Thank you, Thank you very much.